Today, we are looking at our new line of DAC cables. These are direct attach copper cables. They're designed for short distance, high speed connections. Being passive means they contain no embedded chips and are completely plug and play. They are MSA compliant or the multi-source agreement, which ensures compatibility with most network brands. However, for some brands, they may impose proprietary restrictions requiring specific broadcast codes for their equipment. What are DAC cables? DAC cables are copper-based cables that offer high-speed connectivity, typically used to interconnect network switches, servers, or storage devices. Unlike traditional Ethernet cables, DAC cables are pre-made. They have SFP connectors on both ends, instead of your traditional RJ45, and they don't require any additional configuration. DAC cables come in these three sizes, our one meter, our two meter, then over here, we have our five meter. And you would use each of these to connect a switch on the same rack. So then what are the main advantages of a DAC cable? It's their ability to significantly increase the bandwidth between two devices. A good way to visualize bandwidth is to think of your network like a highway. Adding more lanes creates a higher bandwidth, and this allows traffic to flow more smoothly, reducing connection. For example, if I use a DAC cable here, I'm connecting these two switches. This switch can talk to this switch at 10 gigabytes. That means I have faster data transfer between the devices. This will translate to better user experience, higher resolution on video streams, better performance on file servers or virtual machines, and really improve the performance of any device that needs high bandwidth, fast, clear signal. So let's look at a few real life examples of when you would use a DAC cable to connect switches on the same rack or nearby rack. In an IT network, network admins can use a DAC cable to achieve 10 gigabit or more bandwidth between two switches, or a switch and a server, improving the overall performance. Just like on our highway, when I connect this DAC cable from this switch to this switch, I now have 10 additional lanes, or I have more bandwidth. That creates a better experience, and more of my users can access the files. What about for a camera installer? This would translate to high-resolution security cameras all of these generate large amounts of data. If I connect this directly to my NVR with the DAC cable, now that picture is gonna be clear, crisp, and it's gonna be a great quality for my customer. And then our last example here is another one from IT. So an office file server, if I use a DAC cable to connect either my switch straight to that server, it's gonna increase the bandwidth. So now, even though all of my users are connecting at one gigabit, it's gonna feel more reliable because the switches that are handling a lot of this traffic, they're all connecting at faster speeds and being better able to communicate between each other. So how are they different from fiber optic or CAT6 or CAT7 cables? DAC cables provide similar speeds as fiber, but for short distances, and they're just easier to install. They don't require specialized training. I just plug this in on one side and on the other on the other side. So what about for copper or Ethernet cables, why would you pick a DAC cable over regular Ethernet? DAC cables have a better signal quality, lower latency, and you're gonna have a better experience when you're connecting this to something like a file server or a network device. So the practical use of this product is to increase the speed of your office file server for the entire team. Using DAC cables themselves couldn't be any simpler. We're gonna plug one end of this DAC cable into the SFP Plus port on this switch and connect it to the one over here. And that's it. We'll see a light light up and we'll know that they're both communicating properly. For an unmanaged switch, that's it. But what about my managed switch? I can use something called link aggregation. And I can connect two or three cables together and have a super highway between my devices. So now we're greatly increasing that bandwidth. We're gonna have a much better experience. So to recap, we carry our DAC cables in three main sizes. We have one meter, two meters, and then our five meter cable. So the benefits is that ease of installation. DAC cables are plug and play. They don't require transceivers. They don't require the specialized training that fiber does. They're lower latency. They're better than an ethernet cable, a CAT6 or CAT7. Even though the speeds might be the same, you're gonna get a better signal, a better experience. They're cost effective. These are gonna be much cheaper than a fiber optic cable, the same distance. And you also don't need to pay that tech. For the fiber optic, that's much more expensive. The practical use is they're ideal for connecting switches, servers, or storage devices, making them perfect for offices, file servers, high resolution cameras, and other applications that require high bandwidth and high performance. Thank you again for choosing Intellinet. If you have any questions about this product or any of our other products, 
please give us a call at the number on screen. Thank you and have a great day.